Right now, I am currently on my way to go film a mini documentary. And this particular client of mine actually came from a referral. My friend put me on to this person who's in a band, who knows other people who are in a band, and they're looking for videography work. So I'm gonna go meet them in person. It's about like 20 minutes away from my house. I think today we're just gonna go over the project as a whole. And then this client wants me to meet somebody that he knows that travels the world and does music and stuff, so. So as you can see right here, this is my current cart that I have, and it is by far not practical at all, and it does not work at all, but I'm definitely looking into getting a better, more efficient cart. This is the room that I'm going over. These lights up here gave me a big issue. I'll talk about it later in the video, but so far, this room that they give me for the interview, it's pretty spacious, it's pretty big. There's a lot of depth that I can create in this shot, so I'm very excited. So as you can see right here, I am beginning setting up everything for this interview. I'm gonna be using two lights. I'm gonna use an Aperture 300D as my key light, and then an Amaran 60D as my hair light. Well, that's what I thought at least, but as you can see right here, the client is actually talking to me a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I typically don't like when the client is trying to talk to me while I'm trying to set up because I just cannot multitask. Like I, if someone's talking to me, I cannot focus on two different things. Like, and I don't want to miss anything in this shoot. I want to make sure everything is properly lit. I want to make sure everything is properly working. The audio is sounding good. The framing is good, all that. But so as you can see right here, I'm setting up my key light, the Aperture 300D, and I'm having a big issue with the wiring. I guess with Aperture brand lights, you have to set up the wires a certain way and they need to be plugged into a certain outlet. I guess, I don't know if it's just mine, but if you don't plug them in, I guess a correct way, the light won't turn on. And I was struggling to figure out which was the correct one because I was just panicking. But at this point, you can see right here, I'm using the older softbox. And this softbox is horrible. If you know anything about the older Aperture softbox, they're very painful to put up. But that's what I use for now and it gets the job done. So for this setup right here, doing an interview style, I got the FX6 right here. As my A camera, I have a 35G Master I'm gonna shoot. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think this frame is good. I think it looks good for the most part. I got the boom arm boomed out over here. I'm running the light show on an Aperture 300D. That's my key light for him for the subject. And then I noticed that, cause the lights in here, they're more of a warm tungsten color. This is where I kind of wish I had a bicolor light to really help me out in situations like this. I had a hair light going on, but the hair light was just too bright, the Amaran 60D. Even though it was only at 1%, it was just casting too much light on his face. And it was just making it, it wasn't making it as soft as I wanted it to be. So I tried to add some negative fill on this side of his face, but I can't get it any closer. I would have to either move the camera more closer or I would have to use a different focal length, but I like the 35. So I don't really think that the negative fill is doing too much, but it is adding a little bit more contrast to the side of his face, giving it a little bit more shadows. Again, the lights in here are really not the best, but we're gonna make it work and I'm officially ready for the interview. Aperture 300D only at 10% and this is, oh, I also got a wireless mic hooked up to him too as well for backup audio, just in case if anything happens to the first line of audio. So let me know what you guys think. Does this frame look good? I think it does. Now, some of you might be watching this and might be a little concerned that I'm doing an interview knowing that there's a really loud drum set right next door being very loud. I'm not really too worried about it because I'm editing this video and I know in Final Cut there's a feature called voice isolation and it cleans it up tremendously. You won't even know that there was drum next door. But this setup, if you can see what I'm talking about, if you look to his left, you can see that he's really, really blue. And I try to set my white balance, I don't remember, I think it was about 4,200 Kelvins around there, I believe. You can see to his left side, he's blue, and I really don't like that, but I just didn't really want to use the tungsten color artificial light that was coming in the studio. I just didn't like the look. And with this Aperture 300D, it only goes down to 10%. I couldn't make it any softer. So currently right now, the biggest, not really an issue, just something that I personally just don't like because I'm so picky. If you see these lights up here, they're on both sides of my subject and they're shining down on both sides of his face. And so I'm not really getting a shadow side that I want, especially on the right side. I try to add some negative fill. And when I had a tight 85 millimeter lens, you can definitely see it a little bit, but these lights are just so ugly and they're driving me crazy. But overall, the frame is good. The lighting is good. I'm just picky and I just don't like it. But for the most part, 
that's how it's looking. I'm gonna show the final image on the screen once I get it all edited up. So that's it for today's video. I'm gonna post at the end of this clip the final result of the interview, but I want you guys to leave in the comment section below, what would you have done? Should I have not even used the artificial light or should I just use the natural tungsten color light that was coming from the studio? What would you have done and why? Leave in the comment section below. That's it for today's video. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. I'll be on to Bon Johnny. There's a lot of hardships in the industry that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, like really finding people that's on the same wave as you but also, you know, when, when that happens, it's, it's also about checking yourself as well. Like I said, even being in a band, you know, I have to check myself a lot. There's times I can be selfish. I just fell into different things, things I had no business doing, you know, like, and then I just got to a point to where I just started to see that, you know, there even in this life where it seemed like things are good and I was convinced that it was great, you know, I was wondering why I was still feeling so just empty. I was still unhappy. I was still angry. I was still everything.